Welcome to Tales of Honor, a podcast with a mission to tell the true stories of every recipient of our nation's highest military award, the Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Tales of Honor podcast. This is episode number 620, and I don't have any birthdays or news to go over today. Just want to remind you that today's recipient has a book that I will have available in the show notes for you to go get you can purchase it read it do whatever you wish with it but it's there for you to do as you please that's all i have let's get into today's tale of honor thomas was born on the 14th of january 1944 in jacksonville florida and his father roland was in the u.s navy at the time because of his father's career thomas his mother irene and his two brothers moved to michigan wisconsin and finally to washington dc Thomas had been an Eagle Scout as well as running in track and wrestling, and he graduated high school in 1963. He went on to attend the University of Maryland, where he also wrestled, becoming the Atlantic Coast Conference's champion in 1965 and 1966. Thomas graduated with a bachelor's degree in criminology and sociology in 1967, and soon after enlisted in the U.S. Navy, following in his father's footsteps. Thomas was then commissioned and wanted to fly A-4s for the Navy, but had some depth perception issues with his vision. He then read about the SEAL teams and was able to transfer out of the flight program and began the training for the Navy SEALs. Thomas was almost removed from basic underwater demolition SEAL training due to some difficulty, but was allowed to continue and graduated with Class 45 in July of 1969. His first deployment to the Republic of Vietnam was with SEAL Team 2 in February of 1970, where he earned a Bronze Star with Combat Valor device. It was during his second deployment to Vietnam that Thomas would display actions that would later earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Lieutenant Norris completed an unprecedented ground rescue of two downed pilots deep within heavily controlled enemy territory in Quang Tri province. Lieutenant Norris, on the night of 10 April, led a five-man patrol through 2,000 meters of heavily controlled territory, located one of the downed pilots at daybreak, and returned to the forward operating base, FOB. On 11 April, after a devastating mortar and rocket attack on the small FOB, Lieutenant Norris led a three-man team on two unsuccessful rescue attempts for the second pilot. On the afternoon of the 12th, a forward air controller located the pilot and notified Lieutenant Norris. Dressed in fisherman disguises and using a sampan, Lieutenant Norris and one Vietnamese traveled throughout the night and found the injured pilot at dawn. Covering the pilot with bamboo and vegetation, they began the return journey, successfully evading a North Vietnamese patrol. Approaching the FOB, they came under heavy machine gun fire. Lieutenant Norris called in an airstrike, which provided suppression fire and a smokescreen, allowing the rescue party to reach the FOB. By his outstanding display of decisive leadership, undaunted courage, and selfless dedication in the face of extreme danger, Lieutenant Norris enhanced the finest traditions of the U.S. Naval Service. Six months after these actions, in April of 1972, Thomas was shot in the face during another mission, receiving severe head injuries. He was rescued by a fellow SEAL, Michael Thornton, who received the Medal of Honor for doing so. Thomas was medically retired because of his injuries, and it would take many years and many surgeries for his rehabilitation. He was asked by the SEAL teams to write up what had happened during the April of 1972 mission so that they could recommend him for the Medal of Honor. Thomas says that he disagreed with this at the time, but was told that he was being recommended regardless if he wrote it up or not. He was notified in 1974 that he would be receiving it, but the ceremony didn't take place until the 4th of March, 1976. Michael Thornton was present, in addition to Thomas's parents, brothers, sister-in-law, niece, and nephew, to both meet with President Ford and to watch him receive the Medal of Honor at the White House. Prior to joining the Navy, Thomas had wanted to join the FBI, and once recovered, he was able to get a waiver and became an FBI agent in 1979, where he worked for 20 years and was an original member of their hostage rescue team as an assault team leader. Thomas Roland Norris is 79 years old as of this recording, and in 2016, he and Michael Thornton wrote a book called By Honor Bound, Two Navy Seals, the Medal of Honor, and a Story of Extraordinary Courage, which includes a preface by Drew Dix and a foreword by Robert Carey, both Medal of Honor recipients. And that was the Tale of Honor. 
Thank you for listening to Tales of Honor, and if you enjoyed the show, please be sure to subscribe and tell your friends and family. Tales of Honor is written and produced by Christoph Ambrosch, and theme music is Loyalty and Duty by Vloru's Music. If you have any questions, you can send an email to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com, and please be sure to visit talesofhonorpodcast.com for more episodes and information. Thank you.